Hi everyone, I'm Adrian, and today I'll be demonstrating how to secure our ViewSonic interactive view board to a wall mount attached to a rolling cart. Now this is a 55 inch view board. We have sizes ranging from 55 to 84 inches, depending on the screen real estate you need. Now, before we get started, let me go over some helpful tools we recommend you have on hand. Make sure you have these, a Phillips and flathead screwdriver, a pair of pliers or wrenches, 13 millimeter or half inch, a standard box cutter, and if you have one, a power drill. All right, first things first, let's unbox the wall mount and the rolling cart. Now, these are the wall mounts that'll be attached to the display later on, so we'll set those aside for now. And this is the standard Visa wall mount that will be attached to the rolling cart. Now, be careful because this can be a little heavy. Now, you take out the four wheels, the two metal pillars, and the base unit, which we have out. And finally, the shelf unit. We'll begin by building the rolling cart. Take out the base unit and place it face down on the floor. Then attach the wheels to each of the four corners of the base, using four screws in each wheel. Once the four wheels are securely fastened, lift the base up on its side. Then you'll take the two long pillars and fit them into the corresponding holes in the base. Then grab the base screws, locks, and washers outlined in the instructional booklet and securely fasten them to the posts onto the base. Now we'll be installing the shelf component. Now it should slope downward, like so, and you're gonna screw them in, going from the inside of the shelf unit outward. Once all your screws are securely fastened, make sure your wheel locks are already locked as well. Getting it upright will be a lot easier with the wheel lock set. And your base is done. Now let's move on to attaching our wall mount to our rolling cart. Now our pillar allows us to mount at different positions. We recommend never going above the medium position here, otherwise it'll take away from the capability of using the touch screen. Now these are the two wall mounts we talked about earlier that came with our unit. You'll see that a little latch is back here. What that'll do is the hook will slide over the top of the mount, like so, to keep it in place. But before we do that, we need to attach these two pieces to the back of the display. Now we'll integrate our viewboard interactive display to our setup. Now a couple things to keep in mind when you're mounting this backside mount is you want to make sure that the hook here is always up towards the top so we can mount it on our cart. The other thing that'll change depending on the size of your screen is where exactly this first hole up top will line up with us. So for this point I would go eight from the top. By default the bottom one will align as well. With the help of another person carefully lift the display up and hook it onto the mount. Then secure the display to the mount. Now we'll show you how to install the optional slot in PC. First thing you would do is remove the plate that's right here with the two screws. This has already been removed. And then we're gonna attach our antenna to the slot in PC. And then this will just easily push in the open slot here on the back of the unit. You'll feel a little resistance, push. And then you'll just screw in these two up here. Now we're gonna give it the power it needs, and then we'll hit the power on switch, and the setup is fully complete. The first time the display boots up, you'll see the ViewSonic logo come up, and it'll roll into its Android operating system. Now if you wanna switch from Android to PC, you'll go to the general settings by going to the very bottom of the screen, going up, and you'll see the different options. Hit the PC button, automatically switches to Windows. And with that, you successfully set up a ViewSonic ViewBoard interactive display onto a wall mount, onto a rolling cart. Thank you for watching our video.